and hello everyone welcome back to a new video all right so today we're going to be covering case statements i personally don't like case statements i never use them because they're just for me they're hard to use but for you it might be your thing like there are people who like to use if statements and there's people who like to use like all of these case statements i can read them but i i can't really use them because i always have to go back to the book to find out how they work so let, let's go through it now a case statement is basically like an if statement for example let's create a few variables here um variable i mark which is an integer and s mark is it or oh, i don't know what you call these things L let's just go s letter string all right right so here we have an input they're going to put your marks in there and you're going to click on this and you're going to find that you get an a in maps or did you get a b in it or whatever you know so you usually you'd go like if wait let's go i mark becomes ed i mean sed grade dot value all right now usually go if i mark is more equal to 90 then s letter becomes a for example and then you'll go else if i mark is more or equal right sorry about that my pc decided to lag anyways so you go else if i mark is bigger or equal to 80 then begin s letter becomes b right you, you, you go like that until you get to where you want to be it be anyways so now this is a, a very long process so the people who made programming languages were like hey what if we made a more complicated but shorter method to do this and that's where the case statement came in so you'd go case wait let's just start a new case I mark off and then basically in here you go something like 90 to 100 and that will be is letter that I think about it, so if you use the character will become a So that, that's basically your, the first is statement I made. Saying if the mark is between 90 and 100, the letter will be A. And then you can go 80 to 89. And that will give you the letter B. Now, as you can see, this is a much faster way of doing things, but it's a little bit more uh, complicated to remember. And I myself just personally find this a lot harder to grasp. But you might be different. You might be like, I like this. This is actually pretty easy. And yeah, basically it can do everything an if statement can. Actually, comment down below, would you rather use a case statement or an if statement? Which which do you prefer? Now, basically, let's say you want to do more than just this with a case statement. Then you can go, let's say, um, if it's 60 to 79, then begin. 
Now this is basically you can put everything in there and then you can continue afterwards. So let's go S letter becomes C and then show message fail and you can even add in else if that's what you like and then you can just go let's say show message you got zero and yeah that's basically the the case statement nothing really more than that you can use it if you want and yeah thank you for watching hope you guys learned something new today and see you all in the next video